Hi, my name's Project Dan. Here's my tips for the weekend. My tip for Saturday comes from Ligue 1, uh, the game between Angers and Montpellier. Uh, it's, it's a tough game for Angers, who are towards the bottom of the table. They've not won in their last five games, not won in their last seven at home. And they're facing Montpellier's side, who aren't in particularly great form either. Although Montpellier have not lost in five, four of those were draws... And they've not lost in f- at home in five either, and three of those were draws. But it's a crunch game for Angers. They really need to start picking up points if they are to get themselves out of relegation trouble. And I can't see them doing it. My tip for this game is Montpellier to win, draw no bet. That's zero on the Asian handicap at 2.16. Hi, my name is Martin. Here's my tips for the weekend. Um, Saturday tip, I've actually gone and picked Oldham to beat Northampton at odds of 1.94 in League 1 on Saturday. Now, Oldham have only lost two of the last 11. Um, they're doing really well under Richie Wellens. And, you know, before that, um, they're in a bit, bit of a rut under John Sheridan. But Richie Wellens has really, really got them going. Uh, they're three points clear of relegation now. And so they're not, they're not out of the woods just yet. But they were dead and buried, honestly, before Richard Williams took over. He's done a fantastic job. And they come up against the Northampton side, who, in all honesty, I thought they'd hit the ground running when Hasselbank uh, took over for his philosophy of the football, that he was going to try and get Northampton to play would be really good. But in, you know, in reality, what Hasselbank's trying to do, he just doesn't have the quality of players to do that. And Northampton, Admittedly, they're in a bit of a rut. Um, you know, the last five games, they've drawn one and lost four. And, you know, that's not good enough if, if you want to stay in this league. And they've actually lost the last four meetings with Oldham as well. Um, so, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a tough, tough game for Northampton. And I can honestly see Oldham winning this by a, you know, not not just by the old goal, by a couple of goals. So I think Oldham to win at odds of 1.94 is pretty good value to us. Hello, I'm Pro Tips to Paddy, and this is my tip for Saturday. Uh, my Saturday tip comes from the big Serie A match between Juventus and Inter Milan. Juventus are in a great run of form at home. They've only lost one of their previous ten matches at home. And, you know, Inter as well, they're on a pretty good run. Overall, of their last ten matches, they've won eight and only drawn two. In recent head-to-head matches, though, in Turin, Juventus definitely hold the upper hand. They have only lost once of the last previous five meetings between the two teams. Now, of course, you will have seen that Juventus beat Napoli last weekend 1-0 on Friday night. And a lot of people had tipped Napoli to win, probably going with their hearts rather than their heads because... Juventus, they're such an experienced team and they really know how to close out matches. And with this one against Inter, I'm kind of going with that way of thinking as well. Um, Napoli, Napoli are a much more attacking team than Inter. They average way more shots per game, they score more as well. And I can see Juventus just going old school here and doing the same as what they've done against uh, Napoli. And just going Catanaccio, keeping the ball amongst themselves. I reckon they're going to win this by... 2-0, 3-1, that kind of scoreline. So I'm going with Juventus minus 0.75. The odds are 1.93. Now Juventus have to win by two for this um, for this bet to fully win, but I reckon they're going to win by at least one. So then we'll win at least a half stake. But I reckon it's going to end 2-0, 3-1, that kind of thing. My tip for Sunday comes from Spain, from La Liga, the game between Levante and Athletic Bilbao. Levante are in a spot of bother at the moment. They've only won once in their last five games and only won once in their last five games at home. However, they face an Athletic side that aren't great on their travels. Athletic haven't won in their last five games uh, in the La Liga, drawing three times and losing twice, and they have the same record in their last five away from home. Now, Athletic are favourites to win this game, but with that away record and the fact Levante are at home... I'm going to go for Levante in this one. Again, draw no bet, zero Asian handicap at 2.39. Those are my tips for this weekend. Let's hope they win. Good luck. And by Sunday pick, um, it's actually in Serie A. It's the game between Sassuolo and Crotone. 
Uh, but I've gone for a draw here at 3.60. It's 17th versus 16th um, in this one. However, it doesn't really tell a story, although, you know, it looks as though they're, they're pretty close on paper. Um, and they are. But Sassuolo only scored eight goals in the season, so they're really struggling at the front end of the pitch. Um, they can't buy a win at the moment. And they've only actually scored once at home, which is pretty shocking. And Crotone, they've, they've only scored 11 goals in the season, so this could well be a 0-0 or a 1-1. Um, I don't, I don't expect bags of goals in this one. And, so Swallow have not won a home game all season, yet. And as you can tell, they've only scored one goal. Um, and Crotone, they've, they've only won one game away all season, so I think the draw is great value here at 3.60. And the last time these two sides met, it was 0-0. So, with the way these are started, um, I think the draw is the way to go here. Um, so Swallow have, do have a new man in charge, but um, they're not backed by Fiorentina last time out. But it's going to take time for him to put his stamp on things. Um, I don't think it's that, you know, they're both struggling. I don't think this game will define their season. Um, but I think a point would be good for both sides. My Sunday tip also comes from Italy. Um, this time from Serie B, where Barry are taking on Palermo. Probably not pronounced Barry, because that sounds like a fellow from Cork. It's probably Barry. I, I don't know. Sorry. Palermo, though, is, is definitely pronounced, pronounced, pronounced properly. Um, look, it's all happening in Serie B this season. I love a bit of Serie B. It's great for draws, especially towards the end of the season, if you know what I mean. And for sure, it, it's absolutely fantastic at the minute. There's three uh, teams up there at the top, and the only team separating them is goal differential. Parma, Barry, and uh, Palermo. Barry did slip up a couple of days ago, though. They did lose to Entella away, but their away form has been stunning. They've only lost one out of their previous nine home games, and they've scored 18 goals in total in those nine games. Palermo as well, their away form has been absolutely brilliant. You know, for a team that got relegated from last year's Serie A, you'd expect them to have a little bit of a wobble, but they've actually done really, really well, especially away from home. They haven't lost at all. I've gone for both teams to score here rather than the draw, because I think, I think... Both teams are actually good enough to beat each other, if that makes sense. And I think someone could get lucky here and win. But I've got for both teams to score at 1.93. Now, the reason it's kind of high is that because Barry have an absolutely brilliant defence at home. But if we look further into the stats, we can see that Palermo have scored... Let me just check quickly. Palermo have scored 10 away goals in their previous four matches. So I'm going for both teams to score here. Make sure and check out protips.com where you can win real money by sharing your winning football tips. And subscribe to us here on YouTube as well. You get daily tips, videos, previews, podcasts, and strategy videos. Alright, enjoy the weekend and enjoy the football. Take it easy. Good luck.